At that time, Sariputra, ecstatic with joy, instantly rose up, folded his hands, and, looking up at the honorable face, spoke to the Buddha, saying, Now, hearing the sound of the law from the world-honored one, I am filled with ecstasy, obtaining that which I have never experienced before. Today I indeed know that I am really a son of the Buddha, born from the mouth of the Buddha, evolved from the law, and have obtained a place in the Buddha law. The Buddha in the great assembly proclaims that I shall become a Buddha. Hearing such a voice of the law, all doubts and regrets have been removed. My heart is filled with joy. My doubts and regrets are forever ended. I am at rest in real wisdom. I am sure I will become a Buddha. All the great assembly, seeing that Sariputra in the presence of the Buddha had received his prediction of perfect enlightenment, rejoiced greatly in unbounded ecstasy. Each spoke thus in verse. We also in like manner must certainly become Buddhas, who in all the worlds are the most honored and peerless. The Buddha spoke thus in verse. All living beings are my sons and daughters. All are my sons and daughters. And I alone am able to save and protect them. I, for the sake of all beings, preach the one Buddha vehicle. If all of you are able to receive these words in faith, you shall be able to accomplish the Buddha way. This vehicle is wonderful, pure, and supreme. In all the worlds there is nothing more exalted. It is that which the Buddha rejoices in, and which all living creatures should praise, worship, and adore. All you people are my sons and daughters. I, then, am father. If there are any who are deeply attached to desires and passions, the Buddha, for the sake of them, preaches the way by tactful methods, saying, The cause of all suffering is rooted in desire. If desire is extinguished, suffering has no foothold. If there be any who receive this sutra law in faith, these people must have already seen Buddhas of past times, revered and worshipped them, and heard this law. Sariputra, even you into this sutra can only enter by faith. If any people do not believe in and vilify this sutra, then they cut themselves off from all the Buddha seeds in the worlds. If there be any who slander such a sutra as this, who, seeing those who read and recite, write or hold this sutra, scorn and despise, hate and envy them, and bear them a tenacious crutch, concerning the recompense of such people's sin, listen now again. After their lifetime's end, they will enter into the Avicii hell, for a complete kalpa. Those who slander this sutra, if I told the tale of their evils, I could not exhaust them in a whole kalpa.